Hey, everybody. We haven't talked in a... Oh my gosh, the camera's falling down. Oh, it's still falling. Alright, here we go. I want to boost this up before we do this. Stack it on a few games. So, you guys haven't seen me in a while. Right, more games. How you guys doing? I talk to you guys in a while. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I'm using the webcam today, the HD one, and I'm sorry, but I'm watching the guild back there. If you've never watched The Guild, it's a free show you can watch online or on Netflix or something. And it's so freaking funny. It's about a bunch of gamers and their quirky lives, but it's a really good quality show. Watch it. But yeah, I'm using my webcam today because. Actually, let's just get a backdrop. Last time we talked, probably was me talking about getting a job at Chuck E. Cheese, and you know what? That did not happen. They were taking too damn long to even talk to me. So, my friend Alec found me a job on. Craigslist, a place called Cousin Vinny's, just, they were just opening, they were about to start opening and they were hiring people, and then, you know what, I got a job there as a delivery driver, and I'm loving it, loving it, too bad I have too many things to pay off, so I don't really have any money still, so, uh, that's why you haven't seen me and I'm so freaking sorry, because I was going to be, I was, my plan was to keep up with these, and I failed you guys again. But you know what? Here we go. I'm back. And what time is it? It's 5:23 in the morning. I got off work at like 3:30. I don't know. I'm still doing it. I did an insanity workout because I haven't been able to do that too. Because I don't know if you guys knew, but I sprained my ankle. Oh, you guys don't know. I sprained my ankle during an insanity workout. Yeah. So I'm, it's finally back up and able to go, and I'm doing it again. All right. Yeah, I decided today would be a good day, you know, talk about my camera. That's why I'm using the webcam, which keeps messing with its exposure. Probably because I have the deal on. I'll turn it off. Just, just for this. Now everybody, we're back to business. It's still crazy with the exposure. Oh well. You gotta love water. Yeah, I was gonna show you my camera. It's the thing I usually film these things with, and what I usually film a lot of things with, like for fictional studios and stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna show you what. This is not the lens I normally use for this thing. That's this is my. 70 to 300 millimeter lens. There, there's 300 millimeters. It's got a hood, but I don't have it on here. But yeah, I was at the Burfa Lake the other day fishing, and I got a little bored because I wasn't catching anything. I took a few pictures. Look, I'll show you them. You can't really see them on here. Hmm. What's a finger? You know, I'm just going to do a slideshow over me talking right now, and I'll just keep talking and have this go off. There's some random things on here. Very random things, and you'll get to see them. Don't worry. I'll show you all the random things on here. It's kind of ridiculous. See, since I've not been, you know, filming these, I've been neglecting this thing, and that just really depressed me. So, I wanted to show it off. Show you some of the other stuff for it that I've got. Well, it's got a 
bottom battery pack here so I can shoot pictures like this instead of having to shoot them like this. It makes it look a lot bigger and more professional. And when I take it off, it just feels so tiny and it just feels like I'm shooting with a point and shoot again. And I like my battery pack because it also gives it the, the ability to have more. It has to be, the ability to have two batteries in there it gives me a lot more life. Uh, and I just love it. I love it. My gosh, that exposure is just getting annoying. I can just, I can just see it flashing. All right. The bag was open. Did not know that. This is my bag. My grandpa bought it for me when I helped him bigger camera camera out for my grandma. Actually, I ended up getting her the same exact one as mine because you know it's a good camera. And I was gonna buy this myself, and he's like, oh, we're not gonna buy it. Uh, here's my uh, f 18 to 55 millimeter lens. It's, it's the stock lens that comes with it. You know, it's it does a good job for what it is. You know, it's a stock lens. Not nothing too special. Not a crazy f stop or anything like that. But in the right hands, you can take amazing pictures with it. Trust me, I'm not lying. I'm the Batman. Oh man, that just reminds me of Ryan the Nurse, and we have not made one of those in forever. It's funny during summer, I have way less time for like way less free time than I did during school. <laughs> I work too dang much. The, the 50, 50, the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And oh, here's the hood for that big lens. Oh shit, it actually makes it look more professional. Doesn't that look like I'm a paparazzi? Paparazzi. Actually, I need to get an external flash. I actually like having it on here like this, backwards. I think that looks cooler to me. It looks cooler like that, and it makes it easier for me to focus. That's also why I keep it. I don't like when it's just sitting there. Got a lot of random stuff. Look. It's the lens cap for that lens that I just had on there. And this is my other lens hood for my 55mm lens. thing is, it was for a 58mm lens, so when it's zoomed all the way in, <laughs> you see these two corners right here because they're a little bit longer than these ones. So if, if you think about it, you can use it to make your pictures look kind of cool. But other than that, it's going to make your pictures look kind of dumb because they're going to be like, what the hell are those two little things right there in the corner? And you know what? Uh, you don't want that a lot of times. But you know what? It looks, makes the lens look more professional, like, like a higher quality lens. But you're not going to want to have it on there. And I, did, I didn't pay attention when I ordered it. So if I ever get a 58, I've got me a nice little hood for it. Look, it's a car charger. I need to get this stuff a lot more, more organized. I mean, nice if my camera had internal battery, so I didn't have these batteries, and you know that would just make everything a lot more simpler. Oh, here's my SD card case. I was looking for that for one of my three SD cards. Cleaning kit. Ooh, I got this with some stuff. No, no, that was it. Like the, the baby booger sucker. I mean, lens blower. But you know, people do use these to suck up baby boogers. You know. Lens, cleaning tissues, specifically for lenses because you have to use them specifically with specific things to be specifically clean. Uh, we got lens cleaning fluid. Oops. Right here. You can read it. Yep. There's the focal length. You know, this actually does really good at this focal length. Maybe I should talk this close with it. <laughs> we won't get anything done. Um, what is this stuff? Do not use on contact lenses. Directions. Remove loose dust with blower blower brush. Apply one or two drops on of lens cleaning fluid on lens tissue. Wipe glass surface with a gentle circular motion. Use dry tissue to remove residue if needed. Do not use applying cleaning fluid directly onto the lens. Content: distilled water and non-toxic glass detergent. I need to remember the camera. I keep looking at the monitor. 
What else do we got in here? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, the... I'm sorry. This stuff's really soft and I like to touch it. It's a lens cloth. Not the tissue, it's a cloth. It's like a microfiber cloth. It's so soft. I've got one for my paintball mask. And it does wonders. Q-tips for getting around the rim of the lens. And why are these open? Yeah, they help. They do a lot of things. I'm guessing this is a brush. Oh my gosh, this brush is like wedged in here. Gotta get it out. Oh, it's gonna be ruined. Yep, look at that. It's bent. Oh my gosh. The world is over. The world is going to end as we know it because my brush is bent to the left because this is how it's supposed to face. That's why. And the handy dandy bag with a q tip in it. That needs to go in this little q tip bag. Oh my goodness. I'm also sunburned, people, so my neck is kind of. Agitate me, and it's getting me. I'm getting a little itchy. I need to take a shower because I did a workout. I'm sweaty. I don't know if I told you that or not. Yeah, we get everything in the little baggie. Yeah, whoop. There we go. I got this with some other stuff. It's a wireless remote, and the battery is dead in it. I think. I bet it's one that's been sitting at the factory for the shipping plant for a while. Because. It didn't even have a little tab to pull. This cute little, looks like a little iPod shuffle. But, um, yeah, it didn't have a tab to pull. So the battery was in contact with it the whole time it's been made. So when I got it, I was like, cool, click, click, click. 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 And it didn't work. So, yeah, that's not. I'm using a lot of time right now, so I need to hurry up. Got another little cleaning kit when I bought the extra battery stuff from Mini Tripod. This is a, just another blower and a brush in one. It doesn't work as good as the other one. This is just all random shit. Digital camera screen protector. I didn't know this came with this. Well. I didn't know that. I could put this in there and keep my screen scratched. Alright. Ooh, another lens cleaning cloth. This one's softer than the other one. I think I touched it. More lens tissues. See, these are a lot bigger than that one. See, some of the pros and cons for these two different. This one came in a little box, a little bag. There's pros and cons with this. Oh, it's a squeegee. It's a cardboard squeegee for that lens protector, so you can just. just with it out so there's no problems. More q tips. And more lens cleaning fluid. Huh? Oh, shit. Wired wireless remote. Chargers, adapters, lens cap. Charger and what I use to not charge it. That's why I used to plug it into the computer and make it a mod so I can see what it's filming on the monitor. SD card, battery cap, batteries in there. Another SD card, another SD card's in there. Uh, let's get to some quick stuff real quick. Quick stuff real quick. Um, lens filters. I believe this has got the UV polarized and the. FLD, I forgot that's polarized. That's not, oh, that's not polarized. This is the polarized. It's a little grayish, dark as hell. No, no sun. Well, no, more f no, no shines and off of windows and stuff. UVs for the sun. And this one is for fluorescent lighting, I think. Got a nice little case. Guys, this is way too hard to get and, uh, My macro lens. I'll show you this really quick. There's lenses in here. That's all you need to know. They make things get up even closer, zoomed in. And you guys, thank you so much for 
for being here and listening to me. I haven't talked to you guys long enough, and I'm glad some of you might have watched this 15 minute video. It's about time to stop because we gotta stop now. Alright, I love you all. Thanks for watching. Keep watching some more. Bye bye.